What's going on everybody? My name is Elias and I welcome you to another part of the Java Central Training Series. So this video is going to be about syntax error and logical errors and then we're going to look at the debugging feature in IntelliJ IDEA. So first let me show you the syntax error. So what are the syntax error basically? The syntax errors are the errors which base if you don't follow the proper syntax of the language, let's say I'm using Java here, right? So Java wants me to put semicolon at the end when I um, declare my integer val um, variables, right? So if I remove that and there's a syntax to um, write down string in system.out.println statement, so I'll remove that as well. So now it's basically turned to red. So when I run my program now, it actually is going to tell me what are the errors available in my program. So those are basically called syntax errors, right? So if you go down here, so you've got one error on line eight, eight, and then there you go, that's the error. So we are missing unclosed string literals. So now I can go to line eight here, and then I can just put double quotes there so that's going to be fixed all right so the next error we have on line 10 so there's a line 10 here and then i'm missing semicolon okay so i'm going to put semicolon there and that's going to be fixed as well so you can look at down here the messages you get from intellij idea so the most um imp um from uh, famous um ide for java such as netbeans uh, Eclipse and IntelliJ, they all have this feature. So just look around and then find out what are the errors around there. So these are the syntax errors. So let me give you an example of a logical error now. So I'm going to get rid of this program. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this program now. And let's um, say I will define a few variables here. So I'm going to define integer variables x and y. Okay. And then I come down here, I will give x is equal to 5 semicolon and I will give y is equal to 0. Alright, so we got that. Now I'm going to define another variable. I'm going to say result is equal to x. You need to use the parentheses. So x divided by y. Alright. And I'm going to put semicolon and I'm going to print it out to the console. So here is going to be a result. All right. So if I run this program now, there's going to be an error. Then I will explain to you guys. Okay. All right. So we have the error now. So it's telling you that exception in thread main class java.lang and then blah, blah, blah divided by zero. So if you know a little bit of math, you guys know that integer value cannot be divided to zero. Okay, cannot be divided by zero. So that's a logical error. So it's a good idea when you make any logic in your program, make sure you run that before going further. Um, so you know that this logic is 100% right. So these uh, kind of errors are called logical errors. Okay, so let me go and fix this. If I change the value to let's say six, all right. So let's run the program now. Now I'm going to get a result which is zero now. It is going to divide, but um, because uh, I'm not using as a double, let's say if I change this to double, now it's going to give us some result. All right, still an error because it cannot be divided. A double cannot be divided this, right? So that kind of errors are uh, logical errors, right? So let me go and change this back to integer. And then down here, I will change the operation from division to plus. Okay, so let's run the program. Should be fine. The answer should be 11. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use a debugging feature in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so uh, we have these line numbers here, right? So if you don't know, you can go up here and then click on show line numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna. I've got another video in this which I've shown you guys how to turn them on if you don't see them in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so now I'm going to debug the program instead of running it. So let's debug this program. Okay, so now as you can see that I've got uh, this debug menu open for me, right? So if I go to debugger here, okay, and then it will debug the program and telling me that frames not available to 
use this debugging feature what it does for us is basically it let us execute every statement step by step so you know what's going on with your program so to do that you need to add breakpoints to add breakpoints just click on the next uh, to the next number so let's say if I want to add a breakpoint so just click next to 8 so it's going to add a breakpoint to 8 make another breakpoint here okay and now let's go and debug the program all right so now we got another uh, the program basically didn't debug it stopped here on the first breakpoint so this, as you can see that that line is being um, changed to pinkish color so let's go to the debugger now here we got another kind of menu here so the first is going to be step over step into force step into and we got the shortcut keys for them as well so step out right so here now i can see that i've got a variable x which has five integer value y is equal to six integer value and result is 11 okay so now the program has been come here but i'm going to get rid of this breakpoint and now let's debug the program again all right so we got here all right let's debug the program again then click here it's still giving us the thing but i'm going to add a breakpoint here okay let's debug it again all right so now we have this um, method there now i'm going to click on step into okay now it's going to show the next variable x is equal to five and the next line is going to be executed y is equal to six so if i click on step into and then next variable you can see is six the next is a result that statement so you got few information about those statements here as well you gotta find out just read through and then you will find out what are these so, so the next statement so basically debugging lets you um, scroll through your program step by step so each statement will be run step by step you need to click on step into right if you're gonna go step out you can get step out right all right so that was a quick tutorial about uh, syntax errors and logical errors and how to use a debugging feature in IntelliJ IDEA and to add breakpoints so it's very simple just click on um, add breakpoints so if I just click here the numbers will go away right click show line numbers that simple okay so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give me a feedback of these tutorials so i know that i'm doing uh, good or i'm doing bad uh, you guys understanding what i'm teaching here so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video chase